Hello everyone, how are you? This is the second section of creating a professional SLS. Overall description. Overall description contains subparts like the product perspective and let's see here the product business process diagram. The overall descriptions uh, description sorry aims uh, to have a, a bigger look of the application itself. So in the product perspective here, the new channels are designed, uh, designed to provide outstanding customer satisfaction and excellent user experience and move back to the digital area. And remember, please, we are talking about mobile banking uh, project. So the mobile banking consists of two main modules. Uh, in the last uh, uh, video, uh, we illustrated, uh, and uh, there is uh, two modules of this uh, uh, project the mobile application for clients and web portal bank for administrators. The product basically will integrate with, you must, you must here mention all the uh, interfaces that you will integrate with. Uh, here we will uh, we'll integrate with the internal banking system, core banking, uh, core system of a bank. As we have a mobile banking application, it must read all the data from uh, the core system of the bank. And Google API, a web service that register uh, that are you that will be used for register uh, with Gmail accounts. And here is the product business uh, process diagram. Uh, business process diagram part uh, is the UML part, unified modeling uh, uh, language. We use it to uh, um, draw the main functions of system. A business process diagram consists of it's like a swimming pool, and uh, every swimming pool, as you know, is uh, consists of lanes. So this is uh, uh, the lane of the user, uh, and the lane of the bank, the lane of the administration, whatever. And you need to draw uh, uh, the integration between uh, the users uh, using functions like here. Customer credit uh, score uh, will use uh, uh, will integrate with uh, customer uh, tax status, and uh, we have here a condition. If yes, we'll do a process. If no, we'll end the whole process. So you need to draw a UML business process diagram to illustrate all the project. Let's move to the next part. We are still in the overall description section. User classes and characteristics. It's so important, so important that you write down the user classes. So uh, we have two user classes here, the client and the administrator. Client is a mobile application user, someone who uses all the application for mobile banking service, and administrator, web portal, admin user, someone who administrates all the client transaction, produce the needed uh, dashboards. It's so important, this is across all uh, uh, the projects. Okay, let's move to the next part design and implementation constraints. If you have a design and implementation constraints or uh, instructions from the client, uh, it must be followed and mentioned here, like uh, all the application colors must match bank logo and, and colors. Uh, user documentation is also important. Application, uh, uh, this is uh, the part you mention where you mention the deliverable that you will provide to the stakeholder, like application system requirement specification and user stories. After that, you have to mention the assumptions. It's very important part. The assumptions because uh, uh, many projects, many projects uh, uh, are, uh, fail because uh, the company uh, uh, ignore uh, the instructions from uh, the client. So you must mention, you must mention them here. Design must be consistent with the bank log colors, which will be white and blue. Uh, for example, application must work uh, on different browsers, Chrome, Firefox, IE, Edge, and Safari. And here in this part, the tester will uh, do his cr cross-browser testing. So he makes uh, he makes sure that all uh, uh, browsers are compatible with the new system, or the uh, system are compatible with all the mentioned browsers. Application must work on different uh, on different smart devices: iOS 7 or higher, Android 4.1 or higher, tablet view. Web application must be responsive on all devices and this is also should be uh, a different uh, a particular task 
in the uh, testing uh, plan. Customer journey for open account take up to five minutes, and here is a non-functional criteria. We will mention it uh, later in the non-functional uh, section. System must support Arabic and uh, English language. So this is uh, so important because, because we are talking about uh, the overall description. Uh, this is to mention uh, what's so important uh, to the customer. After that, we will talk about external interface requirement. External interface requirement will have two sections, user interfaces and communication interfaces. User interfaces, this is about the design of the project itself. All the design colors uh, will be consistent with the bank logo colors, which, which are white and blue. Most stakeholders or clients need the uh, applications to be consistent with their logo, uh, to give uh, a, a comfortable uh, look of their system. Also, the communication interface, uh, uh, you need to mention here uh, that your application uh, will produce uh, an email, uh, an S uh, uh, SMS, or an application uh, notification in case of uh, interfacing with the customer. Like if we, uh, if the customer uh, finished uh, uh, a transaction between his account, so the SMS will produce or generate an SMS uh, for confirming uh, this transaction is done or not. Hope you enjoyed the second part of uh, creating a professional SMS and we'll do the uh, will record the third part of the system features and uh, uh, non uh, requirements uh, non functional requirements thank you